the base angles so just before i talk about the base angles if one side is 15 millimeters then the other side has to be 15 millimeters now here are some of the things you should know about equilateral triangles all sides are equal and all angles are equal so if we have one side to be six meters all the other sides have to be six meters and the notation we use in maths to describe equilateral triangle are these marks or these notations to show that all the sides are equal all the angles are equal so if you were to take a protractor and measure the angles you would see that they're all 60 degrees so equilateral triangle the word equi stands for equal and lateral stands for sides or lines so it's like saying equal sides or equal lines okay next we have this shape here now this is an isosceles triangle now isosceles is defined by the two sides of the triangle being equal and those two sides will move to the base of the triangle the other third side is not equal to any of the other sides but that side cannot be 15 millimeters the base angles are equal so they must have equal base angles <clears throat> so the angles that we call the base angles are the angles that meet the base of the triangle it is the angle that is formed by the two equal sides of the triangle another triangle you should know of is what we call scaling triangle so notice that we have used different marks on all sides of the triangle so that means this triangle all the sides for this triangle all the sides are not equal so there are no equal sides and there are no equal angles <clears throat> another triangle you should know of is the right angled triangle we call it the right angle triangle because of the presence of this mark so by now you should recognize that that is the 90 degree mark when you see it in a triangle that represents 90 degrees so one angle is a right angle and the right angle triangle can be scaling or isosceles. 